It's a publicity <clears throat> game. It's weird. And it works. You can make a lot of money that way. Who the I don't fuck hate the wants- game. That's what the Kardashians did. Exactly. It worked out. It worked out well. God bless them. Solid business model. For them, really worked. Like, if you just want to make money, that's the way to do it. I will never get the big ass thing. I don't get it. <laughs> it's just <laughs> right over my head. <laughs> you don't like big asses at all? No. Really? You like them little? I just fucking small white pancake ass with huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Every man has his type. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. No. Everybody has his type. But, <laughs> but there's like this fucking ass movement in the last 10 so many years. It's awesome. It's awesome to watch. Watching rap videos and shit. It's fucking great. I'm like, really? That's all right. <laughs> you just don't know the, what the appeal is. None. Wow. None. I don't think I could be further from you in that department. I love a good ass. Yeah, a big well, girl that looks like she could squat. Sly Stone, different strokes for like different folks. Girls look like they can pick up heavy kettlebells. Oh God, <laughs> I don't have a he- I don't have a heavy kettlebell. <laughs> I'm working with the old two pound hand weight down here. <laughs> different strokes for different folks, and isn't that the message anyway? For yeah, the world totally. It's really, what it should be. Right, I'd say everything against it. I'm just saying I don't get it. Yeah, I get that you don't get it, and I mean, that's okay. You got like a 1970s sensibility. You know, yeah. like the Catherine Bach days. Oh, yeah. Dukes of Hazard. Oh, fuck. Remember how hot she was? See, if, if a girl with a huge ass drove, drove up into General Lee, yeah, I'd definitely be excited. <laughs> <laughs> that lady was so pretty. Oh, my God. I remember watching that show thinking, that's not even possible to be that pretty. How the fuck is she that pretty? All those shows. Love Boat, Fantasy Island, Dukes of Hazard. How about Charlie's Angels? Charlie's Three hot Angels. chicks out there solving crimes. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> with guns. <laughs> Sold. Fantasy Island, like they got oh, a fucking yeah. midget. You're like, yes. Oh, welcome to Fantasy he's Island. He's in a suit. They got a little guy in a suit. Like, fucking, and, he's got an accent? Oh, fuck, turn it up. Was there always a <clears> lesson <throat> in Fantasy Island? Like, they didn't really need what they were asking for, and they should have just, like, stayed where they were? Wasn't there, like, those recall. kind of messages? I don't remember. Did Fantasy, did it Wasn't al- it be kind of, like, careful what you wish for? Yeah, yeah. those are always that way. There's always, like, a trick. The genie's got a trick. Careful what you wish for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's never like, oh yeah, and then I'm gonna be the king of the world, and everything worked out great. <laughs> you have one wish. I'm gonna wish for a million wishes. That would kill you, right? <laughs> if they, if you do that, they get real mad. Like, no, you abused the wish. Totally. Imagine if that was real. Imagine if genies were real. We're just all looking. I was always like jealous Pokemon. of Ricky Schroeder on Silver Spoons. I'm like, fuck! Look, all these kids got a fucking train in his living room, man. How cool is that? Pinball machines everywhere. Shit. I'm like, fuck. That looks awesome. It's not like I grew up without. It's from a very middle, upper class family. We had everything we needed. We had a swimming pool and tennis court and shit, all that. But I was like, fuck, Silver Spoons. You're like, we don't have money like that. That's some other shit. That's what social <laughs> media is doing times 10, right? Yeah. Imagine being a kid today and just dealing with all this social media shit. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Impossible. Yeah. Just well, trying to- I think it's even worse. Like, well, my granddaughter's nine, but I have nieces who are teenagers. And going through all that stuff, and it's, man, the influence it has over them, and then what the other kids say, and then what they're all saying on mm-hmm. social media, and what the new trend is, and what the new this. I think it's always been that way, but now it's just exaggerated times a thousand because it's a difficult right there. thing for adults to handle, and the, the the emotional aspect of going back and forth with people and comments and stuff, and the whole world is commenting on things. Like, when they're doing that to each other, the kind of pressure that they're putting under them, no kids have ever experienced that before. No kids have ever grown up with that before. This is a totally new pressure. And if you look at the data, it's like suicide went up, self-harm yep. went up, depression went up. It's not healthy. It's not normal. Uh, and I think it's the d- devil. I said that the year Twitter came out, you might be able to look this up. I care. I think it wasn't Rolling Stone or somewhere or whatever. They're like, what do you think about Twitter? And I said, Twitter's fucking gay. This is right when it came out. <clears throat> and, and so as time went on, because all I saw is people like having a Subway sandwich for lunch or whatever. I'm like, no one gives a fuck. Oh, like, right. The early days. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I get promoting stuff and this, that, and the other. Fucking getting a rise out of somebody stirring the pot. But then the funny part was years later, you know, Twitter blew up to be this huge fucking thing. And they're like, this fucking reporter's getting kind of snooty with me. And he's like, you said... And I quote, Twitter's gay. And I'm like, no fucking way. I go, I didn't say that shit. <clears throat> I go, and I'm so sick of you fuckers in the media misquoting me every time, every opportunity you get. I said, 
to be clear, I said Twitter is fucking gay. All right? <laughs> Get it right.